So today I'm going to talk a little about uh, focus stacking and how to focus stack in Magic Lantern. If you have a 660 like I am, thank you Bill, um, you really ought to install Magic Lantern. It gives you a whole bunch of features, uh, intervalometer, focus stacking which I'm going to focus on today. Use the pun. So um, I've already set up a little um, to give you an example of how it works. So what I've done is grab a toy car, excuse the shaky camera work, and grab the tablet to use as a reflective background. So here we go with the 180L on the 6D. Let's fire up Magic Lantern. So, first of all, you want to go into Live View because focus stacking only works in Magic Lantern. I've already set up subject distance to give me a shot that might work. So, first of all, we try and get somewhere that doesn't glare. going to do is we are going to focus on the nearest point which is this front fender here fender speaking like an American right um, there we go so if we take a shot there that looks pretty good the exposure looks pretty good um, I'll be happy with that if that works. It's in the ballpark I can work with. Shooting in raw as ever. Get your framing right. Tighten up your tripod. You can tell I'm not particularly organised with these things. But I hope you get an idea of what's going on. So, let us start by hitting delete to go into Magic Lantern. Come on, there we go, Magic Lantern. Scroll down, scroll across to focus. Focus, oh, sorry, you're off there. Scroll across to focus, down to focus stacking. Now, what we've got here at the moment um, is so, you focus on the closest thing. Um, what it will do, it will go and take a number of slices in front of the subject um, and it will go through a number of steps per picture. Um, this will um, depend entirely on how far away your subject is, on how big those steps are, because the further, the further away you focus, the larger the difference in focus di di distance. So I'm going to leave it at one because I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot this wide open uh, just for the sake of it. Normally I would stop down a bit and do fewer slice slices, but it's less impressive. I'm going to crank it up because the last thing I want it to do is run out of shots before it finishes, and then you go and say run stack and watch it work. There we go. Takes the first shot, focuses in. Takes the next shot, focuses in. As you see, ever so slightly, ever so slowly, it goes through. Slice at a time, shot at a time, and we'll fill your card up with a nice bunch of rules that you can stack together in a matter of a few minutes on Photoshop, depending on how many slices and shots you have. Now 
I've only just got to the number on the hood now. Or bonnet as we say in England. And watching this do this gives you a really nice feel for how depth of field works. You can see it slicing through. I hope you can on the video anyway. The point is, if you have a 660, you absolutely should go and do this yourself. And now the number on the hood in the front corner is completely out of focus. Excuse my dirty camera, I really ought to have cleaned it first. Does it all automatically? Couldn't be easier than that. Yeah, magic lantern box. You really ought to get it. Now the car's almost completely out of focus. Just the rear, the rear wing is just about in focus still. So I think I. have Guesstimated the steps about right. And that's 55. And that will focus back to the beginning. And you're done. We now have the images up in light in light room. The first thing I'm going to do is just go in, show how massively thin the depth of field is in my yeah, it's a toy car that can't be more than a millimetre or two. So, what we're going to do is go through, control click, all the shots, right click and say edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. Wait a little. Come on. Right, I'm going to cut and I'm going to come back when it's load, loaded them all in. Back again with all the shots loaded in Photoshop. Um, what I like to do um, is shift click the last frame and that will select all of the images. Um, if you are the beauty of the 180L is it has very little focus breathing, so from experience I don't think I even have to align the frames because if you reduce the opacity of all of them you can see pretty much what's going to happen. Um, so I am happy that they're aligned and I don't want to really waste more time aligning them but if you wanted to you can go to edit auto align layers and select auto um, and it will just make sure everything's nicely lined up next let's see if this is going to work this might be the biggest stack I've tried um, 
auto blend layers and select stack images seamless tones and colors and content aware fill transparent areas I'm going to uncheck that because there shouldn't be any transparent areas because I've not had to align so go and it will go through and blend them let leave this running but I will probably cut down what is it 17 12 now might take a couple of minutes depending on how much RAM it uses so oh, I'm gonna come back in here now it's finishing off um, just combining them up right is it a masterpiece no I, I cut off the rear bumper, I like more of the reflection, I grabbed a tablet for the backdrop quickly, but hopefully it will show you what it can do. There we go, all snaps into sharp focus. We yeah, you can count the scratches on the windscreen. Not bad for wide open. So, close that down. And send it back over to Lightroom. And export. There you go. Focus stacking in a nutshell. Yeah, got a bit of stacking anomalies here that would be easy enough to sort out if I really cared about it that much. Um, but yeah, I'll post that for you to see as well. I hope you enjoyed this video.